Boom! The Jets rock it to you. Uh, they're going to be here Friday night, actually, uh, February the 15th. But I don't know when you're going to see this video, but they're going to be here Friday, February the 15th at the Alamo Dome. We're not live yet. We're going to go live here in just a minute. There we go. There we go. The Jets rock it to you. They'll be performing live in the Living Color this Friday night at the Alamo Dome Illusions Theater, the Love Jams concert. Will I be there? Oh, of course, I'm going to be there. Good morning, Double R Radio, totally 80s morning show. Thanks for waking up with me. Thanks for joining me. Live on Facebook right now, STM. I'm going to talk about a quick little story here, and then from there, we're going to talk. I, I've got to talk here, man. We, we need to talk. Now, check this out. Crazy story. A Texas man uh, went inside an empty garage, so he thought it was an empty garage to smoke a little bit of wacky tobacco. Well, after two or three hits of that wacky tobacco, lo and behold, and this all happened in Houston, Texas, he found a 1,000-pound tiger inside <laughs> the supposedly empty garage that he wanted to smoke a little weed. Well, he called cops and cops showed up and they got rid of the tiger and, uh, well, there you have it. How in the hell does a does a thousand pound tiger get inside an empty garage? Where did this tiger come from? You know, a lot of weird things happen in Houston, Texas. I like it. I need to move to Houston. Anyways, crazy, right? Anyways, I'm going to share a story with you guys. So this is all true. This all happened. Good morning, John. I got to Marianne Leal. Buenos dias, Arminia Garza. Buenos dias, buenos dias. Um... The other day, um, actually two days ago, I was doing the Uber thing, and uh, Myrna Baniales Cougar, good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, I was doing the Uber thing, and um, um, I had two couples sit in my car, and I was driving them from downtown all the way to, um, um, man, I got to talk about that too. I took them to a restaurant out there in 281 and 1604. We all know who Drew Brees is, right? Drew Brees, quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. Well, Drew Brees owns a restaurant out there on 281 and 1604. And I gotta check it out. It's a lot of Cajun food and stuff like that. Well, anyway, good morning, shout out going at you. Uh, Double R Radio sponsor, Rosalinda, Rosalinda. Good morning, joining me live in the Living Color. That being said, um, I was driving them, right? And I had just gotten started. Good morning, shout out going at you. Antonia Villarreal, buenos dias. Virginia Coy, good morning. Okay, that being said, um, one of the guys sitting in the back, I think he was trying to be funny, or I don't think he was trying to be mean or disrespectful. I just think he was trying to be funny. So the guy tells me, and he's a white guy, mind you. The couple in the back, they were from Canada. So the guy tells me, excuse me, driver, I have a question for you. And I go, no, I don't jump the fence. And he goes, no, no, really, man, I got a question for you. And I said, okay, what's your question? Good morning, shout out to Antonia Villadria. Did I already say that? I'm saying it again. Carlos J. Luisa Salazar, how we doing? So the guy tells me, why do they call refried beans refried beans? And I looked at him, and his wife goes, what kind of a stupid question is that? She tells him, right? And I say, no, 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 it's good, it's good. I'm Hispanic, I love refried beans. I don't know if he's trying to go there with that, but I'm good with it. I'm not offended whatsoever. So I said, you know what? That's a very good question. He goes, um, do they fry the beans? And I said, no, they don't, no, they don't. What they do, they boil the beans, they make the beans, and I think once they're mashed, if you mash the beans... And usually they put them in a pan and they put a little grease on there and they cook it up. It's considered fried. So refried beans. <clears throat> a little cough there. I don't know where that came from. So that being said, um, I stayed thinking about it. And I said, I don't know if I'm right or wrong in this. Good morning, John. I got to sponsor Cynthia Gonzalez. I mean, good morning, Rosemary Gomez. Sponsor as well. Good morning, ladies. So anyways, I stayed thinking about it. I really did. So I'm looking it up right now. And I said, okay. Let's see what refried beans are all about. Now, according to what one person says, refried beans are a staple in Mexican cuisine, so their name is direct take on their Spanish name, frijoles, refritos, which means well fried and not fried again. So I take it you can only cook them in a pan once, and they fry up with a little bit of grease, and you mash them, and you got the old refried beans. Now, not done again. So I, I really don't know. This thing is kind of confusing on me. They're kind of messing with my mind here a little bit. So I'm still trying to figure out what the hell are refried beans, honestly. How did they get their name? Refried beans. Frijoles. Refritos. Good morning, John. I got to Lisa Escobedo. Good morning. Another sponsor, James Gonzalez. Good morning, brother. How we doing? Now, <clears throat> I thought to myself, 
Maybe this guy was trying to be disrespectful. Maybe he wanted to tell me a couple of Mexican jokes. And I said, I can hang with the Mexican joke thing. I really can. So I thought to myself, <coughs> where am I getting this call from? I thought to myself, I'm going to go ahead and share with you guys just in case he was trying to be a funny guy and tell a Mexican joke. I said, I can tell Mexican jokes too, but I need a little bit of help. So what I did, I looked up some Mexican jokes and I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all some Mexican jokes. I'm Mexicano, so I'm allowed to tell some, you know, Mexican jokes. Prima, Irene Guyana, who says, Primo, I took your advice. We're not going to go out to eat me and the hubby. I'm going to make some papa at home. And that's really, really good advice. It really is. Why get in line? Why are you going to be stuck at a restaurant tomorrow on Valentine's Day for two and a half hours waiting and waiting to be served? And when you finally sit down, you're going to get a waitress or waiter all pissed off. They don't want to be there. They want to be home getting laid, but no, they're working. Who wants that, man? Stay home. Make a little cena. Make a little... Frijoles, refritos, unas enchiladas, carne guisada. After that, maybe a glass of wine. After that, some good one and a half minute sex and stuff like that. You'll be good to go. Well, anyways, getting back to, I'm going to share with you guys some Mexican jokes, okay? And you can laugh. You don't have to laugh. That's okay. I'm going to share with you guys because I'm Mexicano. I'm allowed. Now, if I were to be telling you black jokes, well, probably somebody would be knocking on my door in about two minutes. But since I'm Mexicano, I think I'm allowed to tell a few Mexican jokes. Here we go. How many Mexicans does it take to screw in a light bulb? Juan. Eh, not funny. Okay. Anyways, um, why don't Mexicans play hide and seek? Because nobody will look for them. Okay. What? What's a Mexican's favorite bookstore? Borders. Okay. Anyways, what do you call Mexicans on a trampoline? Jumping beans. Oh, keep on going. Here we got plenty of them. What do you call a Mexican on a riding lawnmower? Promoted. There you go. Anyways, what do you call a building full of Mexicans? Jail. There we go. Anyways, what does a Mexican get for Christmas? Your TV. There you go. I can keep on going and going and going and going. Uh, let me see here. What else do we have here? Uh, what do you call one Mexican on the moon? A problem. What do you call two Mexicans on the moon? A bigger problem. What do you call all the Mexicans on the moon? Problem solved. Me no que cabrones desgraciados. Anyways, it's the... Um, <laughs> I'm seeing some of this, man. <laughs> Why do Mexicans wear their baseball cap with the brim up? So they can have a place to put their taco. Mira que cabrones, I don't appreciate that joke whatsoever. Anyways, it's the... <laughs> uh, let's see here, what else do I find? Uh, what do Mexicans and vending machines have in common? They both take your money and don't work. I'm sorry, mothers, I don't like that joke either. Anyway, <laughs> why do Mexicans wear pointed boots? Because it makes it easier to jump the fence. <laughs> what does the Mexican say to the house that fell on him? Get off me, Holmes. Okay. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. What did Davy Crockett say when he saw all the Mexicans running towards the Alamo? Who ordered the concrete? <laughs> <laughs> what is the difference between a Mexican and an elevator? One can raise a child. Hey, sorry, mother, I don't like that joke whatsoever. Good on this. Anyway. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, did you hear about the two car pileup at the Walmart parking lot? Uh, 50 Mexicans died. Good COVID on this. I'm not appreciating these jokes whatsoever anymore. Anyway. <laughs> What's a Mexican's favorite sport? Cross country. All right, there you go. That's enough of that crap. I'm tired of these stupid Mexican jokes. Good morning, shout out, good up to my compadre, Luis Santana. Good morning, Regina Marquez. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Raymond Esparza, buenos dias, Deborah Camarillo, Anaheim, California. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Do not forget, tomorrow morning, we're going to be skipping Tejano Thursday. This is tomorrow's Valentine's Day. We're going to go ahead and do the Cruising Classic Show, the morning version, the Valentine's version of the Cruising Classic Show tomorrow morning from 7 to 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, Friday morning, Freeform Friday, and of course, Friday is going to be the Love Jams concert happening here in San Antonio, so Friday morning, East L.A.'s very own Rudy Salas will be joining me uh, for a quick little interview before he heads to the Alamo Dome and gets ready for that big performance Friday night, okay? Anyways, and I tell you what, next Thursday morning, I'm going to make up for y'all guys for the Tejano Thursdays, and I'm going to go ahead and play for you guys... Uh, I'm going to put the spotlight on El Super Grupo Mas. I'm going to make it a Super Grupo Mas Tejano Thursday morning show. It's going to be awesome. I promise you that, man. You're going to hear all of your favorite Mas songs. You're also going to hear 
um, interview clips from Jimmy Gonzalez and Joe Lopez as well. And of course, I'll be playing for y'all some clips from T-Town from back in the day. Some audio clips from T-Town. I'm going to take you back to the day. That way you can get a feel of what it was like to be at T-Town. It is just a totally Wednesdays, uh, totally awesome Wednesdays. There we go. So look, let's get me going to the Sunny Bottle of Lobos, La Bamba. Good morning. Totally 80s morning show, Double R Radio. Buenos dias. There we go. I didn't like those Mexican jokes. Those Mexican jokes pissed me off. Let's get back to the morning show. Join me. RobertRevisRadio.com. Click on the blue button. RobertRevisRadio.com. Just click on the blue button, man. Totally 80s. Join me now. Orale.